Yeah, if you're hitting one in every two doubles, you're probably going to win quite a lot of darts matches. Yeah, if you think about a seasonal statistic for people's doubles, if you're around 40%, you're world class. But you're going to have to go up a notch in Not certain enough. games like this. One of the toughest finishes, 139, and Watamina's not 39. going to take it. Would have loved to have left tops, but 80 will do. Mernon a long way back now, and more of those scrappy visits. Again, treble 20, oh, and then it sails into the five. He's rescued it very well, does leave himself on a finish. Tops, tops for Watamina. Why not? It's been the theme of the game so far. It's absolutely superb from Watamina. We, talk, we talked about a lack of confidence. There's nothing that lacks confidence there. Since then. 113. He's not going to get a shot at a double here. He's, he was cantering towards the finish, like you said, Dan, but now he's slowed down. He's almost shuffling towards the finish line in this game. 24. Almost looks like neither of them want to get to that finish line. Double 16. 48. That's unusual. I didn't expect him to do that. Especially when you just consider he's hit two double tops. So why would he do that? It may be an irrelevant point if he hits double four. Now down for double two and Jermaine Watamina, the first winner in this year's Hungarian Darts Trophy. A game that in many respects... 1-6 for Vladimir. And that snarl, which is just part of his game. Oh, oh no. no! What are you no. doing? He knows that's the problem. That's why he moved. And he's hammered that into the trouble that's 20. And he's glaring at it 84. as if he stares again. It'll move. But it could be Anton Ursula moving into the lead. 14 segments. Double 11. 73. I know it's well, easy for us to see it, but stay away from that 60 on a 116. That's why people go 19s. Because you get two trebles downstairs, you go double one. And he can't get it with either of the first two this time. Giving Anton a look for 2 1. And then you require 11. It's not just about big finishes like 118 and 61, it's about the small ones like 11. Wow. That was close to a treble. Or maybe he was going for the treble to leave double one. Doesn't matter anymore, he's got the two one lead. Well, one way or another, it's all going with throw and a genuine slap of his own forehead in frustration and embarrassment from Vladimir Anderson. Oh, it's lovely. Sing it, Anton. 45. Yeah, it's good. Look it up. It's nice. But Varte do know, Anton, where are you now? You're potentially two visits away from a debut Euro Tour win. Oh, he has me thinking it was going to be a sixth 180. Turns out he didn't need it. He's simply three darts away from the next round. And believe me when I say this, if he's through to play Danny Nutter tomorrow, this place is going to be hotter. It's going to be louder. It's going to be brilliant. Do you want to be part of it, Anton? You're not far away from it. Not far away at all. Good. What a way to win it! Anton Ursland explodes into round two with a stunning 145 checkout. Five 180s, an average over 97, and a scoring average of nearly 111. And Mihai Vida. We're going to step up. Oh, it's on. No longer. And another chance. 87. Now you require 101. Now then, how are you going to get a dart at a double now? Treble 19 or treble 15. Single seven's not going to do the job. 47. Smashing, you require 56. Still in the leg, though. He requires Biowetsky missing. So in the middle of the fat 16. On the wire with that last attempt. Now, first dart to a double, surely. 
Gets the 14 right. Tops. 14 ball. It's best thing you require 14. Not being his afternoon. Theowetsky to go one away. In shot the fifth leg. Apologises for the second leg running. Sixth leg, the only the front. Well, the sort of numbers we're seeing from Vida are exactly to type. I mentioned that the four games he played to qualify here between 76 and 80. Well, they've improved now. He leads the 180 count, two to one. Might there be a fight back? Might there be a 1 6 1 checkout? And that's not just for Vida, because Biowetsky's left himself on that as well. 12 data, 161. It's on. Rebel 17. He's nailed it. The ball for Vida. Oh, it's fantastic. It's right in the middle. What a moment for Mihai Vida. He gets the respect from Biowetsky. There's almost an embarrassed schoolboy esque grin on his face. But that is an absolutely astonishing checkout. Didn't need to ask Ross where that one landed, did he? 1 6 1 checkout after a 180. Two visits of utter brilliance from Mihai Vida, who looked like he was on a one way ticket to an absolute hammering. Or peering round the corner, hoping and praying for the call, but only gets no score in response from Ross Bray. He's not going to follow up with his 1 6 1 heroics here. Biowetsky is going to have more chances. Especially you require 20. Getting further away. More match darts have been spurned. And he's giving the board an almost accusatory look. Well, he just doesn't seem to be able to find a way past that first dart, Sebastian Biowetsky. Twice now he's made life hard for himself. And twice he's been unable to complete the job. Vida will not get a chance. Like six darts from 1-5-2, and he's not managed to get a Sebastian dart for the leg. So Sebastian Biowetsky having missed seven match darts. And that number's going up. But it finally stops there, and he peers around and eventually gets the call from... It's a hard out, this one. And just misses out on the 57. So Razma dodges that bullet. 85. That is, you require 40. The dreaded double 10. 20. Not even close. Some sort of magnetic 48. field around it that's repelling the darts. Might be Scott's beard. It might be magnetic. But it does look a bit silver. Oh, it's got to be the last dart. That just makes matters feel even worse. Who nobody seems to be talking about at the minute. Well, I think the Euro Tour is now getting so strong to the point where there's no section that you wouldn't regard as absolutely brutal. It's got to be good and it's got to be now. It's decent. Scotty requires. But if he's going to take us to a last leg decider, he may need weights to miss another double. Oh, just tops now for weights, and he does get the job done. And it's a damaging blow for Maddas Rasma and his prospects of playing in the European Championship in October. Just never. Andy Bolton. As long as he doesn't make a horrible mess of this and leaves himself well placed, he's still in with a chance of breaking back immediately. But he could take it out right now. Double 16 for a 1 4 3. Good. What a shot, Andy Bolton. Just when he was in danger of seeing the game drift away from him, he pulls out by far the biggest finish of the match to level things up. Great players can do great things like that. 
there's an argument to say that maybe he hasn't done enough of that in his career to get that elusive marquee title that he craves. But my word, what a shot that is. That is one of the hardest checkouts on the dartboard. You can't group through a broken. Last leg shootout, whether you've got the darts or not, you're thinking, if I can put in three 140s, I've got a superb chance. But he's better than that. He finds his first maximum of the game with his final scoring visit. What a leg of darts from Scott Mitchell. This is banditry in All Budapest four. from Scotty Dodd. Match darts to steal it away from Andy Bolton. Double 16 it is. And Scott Mitchell is nowhere near with either of them. And Andy, Andy Bolton, could it be a third four. ton plus finish in four legs? From being the best player in the game to being second best in the last leg, he could nick it. But he won't with two double tops. I'm surprised at Mitchell going for nine double 16. I will be honest. But maybe that's because double top hasn't really cooperated in this game. If 32 does, he'll play Dave Chisnell tomorrow for a meeting with the number one seed. It's there, and Scotty Dog gets one over on Andy Bolton. He did lead very briefly earlier on in the match, but he still had to put back-to-back -back legs in just 28 darts. The best stuff we've seen from him in the entirety of the contest. Fish, but Leinster's in a good position here to really attack the Williams throw. And attack it, he does. Scotty Dog, 170. The chance evaporates immediately, and Richard Vainstra has got an opportunity Six. here Richard, you require 83. to break the throw and go into the lead. Missed a couple of darts from a 47 checkout earlier. Now gets one at ball. 58. He's not far away. Score, 110. The double 18. Good. Brilliant Good. checkout. Biggest one of the match so far, and Scott Williams certainly lets everyone know how he's feeling. Get the ball. What could Williams do? 90. He did stay straight, but he didn't get a requisite treble. Double top. Got to go. A dozen and Scott Williams now having survived the dart to be broken in the previous leg and go 3-2 down this is for a 4-2 lead well the first two are nowhere near really but at least they're out of the way that one was closer but not close enough they are missing their opportunities these two the six holds in a row Not going to happen. Goes 16. inside, leaves double Scott two. A reprieve 20. now for Scott Williams. Yes, on the right in the heart of the double ten. He holds his hand up to apologise. He does not mean that in the slightest. And that could be the biggest moment. Of Fifty-eight. Scott, you require one hundred and seventy. Well, renowned show of Scott Williams. Of course, he'll go for it. Doesn't have the option now. Ninety-four. And the last dart kind of rescues him, and it should mean that match darts are incoming. At least one of them when he returns to the board. Seventy-five. Savage leaves him a Scott, bogey you number. Seventy-six. What a huge difference that's made. Comfort now for Williams. Just takes a pause, doesn't want to rush this. Yeah, shot. And he pins it. And Scott Williams gets his first Euro Tour win of the year. One of the breakout stars of 2022. It's been leaner for him in 2023. Will this start the Scott Williams revival? What this win does. 
lost to Scott Waits earlier this afternoon. So that's one of De Decker's opponents out in the early stages, at least. If you consider who is still in this tournament and gunning for a top 32 spot in the European Championship Order of Merit, there aren't many. In fact, there are only three from 33rd place all the way to 50th, Woodhouse, O'Connor and De Decker. He could do damage in this game, big, big damage. That is damaging to Gilding. What a shot from Mike. Nothing wrong with his doubling in this game. Three hits from four. He might not be scoring at his optimum best, but he's doubling like a warrior. 60. Yeah, he's one of the biggest 180 hitters in the... Right now. Yeah, Gilding's had eight. One man of He really wants to do it, doesn't he? Sometimes it can overtake your thoughts. You think to yourself that, I haven't had a 180 yet. I really want to get one in front of the fans. I want to do the thumbs up thing. But that can distract you from what you've got to do in the match. 60. Andrew, you require 103. The way they're clapping out there, it's like the World Athletics Championships is in Budapest again, like it was a few weeks ago. This is not the triple jump, Game but he's seven, just completed a hop, and step, and a jump to his fourth leg. Deck has only two darts away from two. that. Sprint finish territory. Should go to the bull. We might even favour treble 11. Well, that's what he wanted. He wasn't really that pleased with that visit, but I don't think he's that pleased with this performance. But he will be ecstatic 45. if he's going through Mike to play Josh Rock tomorrow, 51. the number five seed. Double 16. Game. Mark De Decker does seal his win against Andrew Gilding. It wasn't. That that could all follow. He could be world youth champion, just as Josh Rock did. There's so many similarities. The one thing that's different is that whenever Josh Rock plays Brendan Dolan, he absolutely hammers him. And that hasn't always been the case with Kian. That was a somewhat natural third dart. Didn't even aim it, but it does find the target. Roland finds himself on double 18 again, looking to put right what he couldn't do in leg one, but exactly the same has happened on double 18. But double nine cooperates. That World Youth Championship final that he's got against Luke Littler. Think, without using words, I'm going to use an emoji here. The hungry one where it's just a little bit of a trickle on the right side of your mouth. Bow the victory. The only numbers Van Veen cares about are the ones next to his tally for the Grand Prix. And he must be thinking about it. He's surrounded by it. It's on social media. Wow. We're talking about it. I'm sure people he hangs around with are talking about it. The other players will be talking about it. Wait, take Chris Doby, for example, who is in danger of losing his professional spot at the Grand Prix. He's missed out on big tournaments like the match play, having been in provisional spots because he said, I was thinking about it, and I messed it up in the final weekend of qualifying. It's not easy. This looks good. Double eight. 3-1. Van Veen, you can see from the change in his demeanour, he's happier with how his game is starting to coalesce. There's another thing as well. I know that... He is guaranteed to be in Hildesheim like Jan Haas. We expect. Dolan does not want to miss this 1-2-1. He threw first in this leg. You can't be broken at this point of a game and expect to win. Old school. Double five. One run and eleven. Great effort, but he's relying on Van Veen missing. It'll be 20 for double 16. Double 16. If it's just outside, it's a perfect little tray to lay the next one on. That's a bit far out. And that doesn't find the mark. Two darts missed for 5-2.
he knows how important that was. Got to go for it, Brendan. Five score. He was caught betwixt Pierre and between being 16. cautious and too aggressive. Van Veen, with no hesitation, goes back to double eight, which has been really kind to him in this match. It isn't this time. But Kenny double four Charles is. And that's a Pierre double break. Van Veen. First. Can Pierre Van Veen. Oh dear. 70. It's a great last start, to be honest, and he's down to a finish. Dolan needs a couple of troubles just to join him on any kind of check here. If there is a good score of 70, that was it. 60. I think Dolan knows that the Kennedy writing may be on the wall. 150. Interesting call. Was that the time to do that? 88. Or was he just trying to do something a little bit different to take the pressure of the situation away? Sometimes players will do that. If he'd hit the bullseye, he might have 45. even gone for 60 tops. He only requires 62. Well, he is going to get a matched art to take a step towards the Grand Prix. 30. He will not take it just yet, but he'll get more opportunities so to do. It's a bad first start from Brendan because that blocks all of the 60. 58. Can you he can only get 32? to 133. Van Veen, can he get closer? Can he gets closer to the Grand Prix with that win, but there's still more to do. There is still more to do.